hey everyone welcome back to our channel today we will be discuss some of the most important concept of the c programming language function a function is a block of code that perform a specific task function are a set of instruction that perform a specific task and they play a crucial role in the c programming language they make it possible to modularize our code and make it reusable which ultimately makes programming easier so let's talk about some of the key aspect of c programming function first function is user define user define function in c programming we can define our own functions that serve custom need we can create function to perform a specific task that are not available in the standard library this concept of creating user defined function is very effective in simplify code and making it more easily understand user define you can also create function as per your need such as function created by the user are known as user defined function now user defined function we allow you to define function according to your need this function are known as user defined function for example suppose you need to create a circle and color it depend upon the radius and color you can create two function to solve the problem create circle function and color function function prototype now we are discuss about function type there are different type of function in c programming language based on their functionality we can broadly group them into four categories void function value returning function call by value function and call by reference function now recursion recursion is a technique where a function call itself in c programming recursion is widely used to solve complex problem by breaking them down into similar more manageable steps recursion can be a powerful tool if used correctly now discuss about storage class storage class in c programming storage class are used to specify the lifetime visibility and the scope of variable there are four type of storage class in c namely auto extern static or register function example there are four type automatic external static and register local variable the variable declared inside a block or automatic or local variable the local variable exist only inside the block in which it is declared jahan pe wo declared rehte hain when you run the eva program you will get a error undeclared identifier i it's because i is declared inside the for loop block outside of the block it's undeclared let's take another example in the above example n1 is local to main and n2 is local to function this means you cannot access the n1 variable inside function as it only exist inside main similarly you cannot access the n2 variable inside main as it only exist inside function global variable variable that are declared outside of all function are known as external or global variable they are accessible from any function inside the program 
global variable this is in main void display when code suppose a global variable is declared in file if you try to use that variable in a different file file to the compiler will complain to solve the problem keyboard extern is used to file to to indicate that the external variable is declared in another file register variable the register keyword is used to declare register variable register variable were supposed to be faster than local variable however modern compi compiler are very good at code optimization and there is a rare chance that using register variable will make your program faster unless you are working on embedded system where you know how to optimize code for the given application there is no use of register variable a static variable a static variable is declared by using the static keyword for example static int i the value of a static variable persists until the end of the program static variable and c is equal 1 during the first function call the value of c is initialized to 1 its value is increased by 5 now the value of c is 6 which is printed on the screen during the second function call c is not initialized to first again it's because c is a static variable the value c is increased by 5 now its value will be 11 which is printed on the screen now let's see this function are defined in header file for example standard library function the printf is a standard library function to send formatted output to the screen display output on the screen this function is defined in the studio.h header file hence to use the print f function we need to include the studio dot f header file using has include dot studio now let's look at some of the use case for function in c programming one of the most common example of a function is the print f function which is used to print data on the console on terminal another popular function is the scan f function which is used to read input from a user or a file how user defined function verb void function name int main function the execution of a c program begins from the main function when the compiler encounters function name control of the program jump to void main function and the compiler is start executing the code inside function name the control of the program jump back to the main function once code inside a function definition is executed how function work in programming c advantage of user defined function the program will be easier to understand maintain and debug review is well reusable code that can be used in other programs a large program can be divided into similar smaller module hence a large project can be divided among many programmers calling function control of the program is transferred to the user defined function by calling contact of function in a above example of the function call is made using and number or and one and two statement inside the main function function definition specific task in our example adding two number or returning it when a function is called the control of the program is transferred to the function definition and the compiler start executing the code 
inside the body of a function. Passing argument to a function. In a programming, argument refer to the variable passed to the function in the above example. Two variable n1 and n2 are passed during the function call. The parameter a and b accept the passed argument in the function defi definition. These arguments are called formal parameter of the function. The type of argument passed to a function and the formal parameters must match otherwise the compiler will throw an error. If n1 is the character type, a also should be of character type. If n2 is of, of float type variable, b also should be of float type. A function can also be called without passing an argument. Returning statement. A return statement terminates the execution of a function and return a value to the calling function. The program control is transferred to the calling function after the return statement. The value of the result variable is returned to the main function. The sum variable in the main function is assigned the value. This value. A function prototype is simply the declaration of a function that is specific function name, parameter and return type. It doesn't contain function body. A function prototype gives information to the compiler that the function may later be used in the program. Now let's see example, no argument pass and no return value, return statement. The return statement terminates the execution of a function and return a value to the calling function. The program control is transferred to the calling function after the return statement. First, no argument pass and no return value. नहीं मैं इसमें आर्गुमेंट पास करेंगे और नहीं रिटर्न वैल्यू आएगी। The check prime number function take input from the user check whether it is a prime number or not and displays it on the screen the empty parenthesis in check prime inside the main function indicate that no argument is passed to the function. The return type of function is void hence no value is returned from the function. No argument passed but return a value. No argument is passed. 0 and 1 are not prime number. Return integer entered by the user. The empty parenthesis in the end is equal get integer a statement indicate that no argument is passed to the function and the value written from the function is assigned to n here the get integer function take input from the user and return it the code to check whether a number is a prime or not is inside the main function argument passed but no written value the integer value entered by the user is passed to the check prime and display function. Here the check prime and display function checks whether the argument passed is a prime number or not and display the appropriate message. Argument pass and return a value. n is passed to the check prime number function, the return value is assigned to the flag variable. It is written from the function. The input from the user is passed to the check prime function. The check prime function checks whether the passed argument is prime or not. If the passed argument is a prime number, the function returns 0. If the passed argument is a non-prime number, 
the function return first the return value is assigned to the flag variable depending on whether flag is 0 or 1 an appropriate message is printed from the main function a function that call itself is known as recursive function and this technique is known as recursion how recursion works void recursion recursion int main and recursion void recursion recursive call recursion int main and recursion the recursion continue until some condition is met to prevent it to prevent infinite recursion a false statement can be used where one branch make the recursive call and other doesn't sum of natural number using recursion this is program enter a positive integer number result is equal sum number print result then and sum int n if equal 0 function call itself return plus n sum n minus 1 return initially the sum is called from the main function with number passed as an argument suppose the value of n inside sum is 3 initially during the next function call 2 is passed of the sum function the process continues until n is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 the if condition falls and the else part is executed return the sum of integer ultimately to the main function advantage of disadvantage of recursion recursion make program elegant however if perform is vital use loop inside as recursion is usually much slower this is storage class we are already learned about this and that's it guys in this video we have discussed some of the most important topics related to c programming function now we will see other topic in next video till then keep watching and thank you for watching